Hello, my name is Martin Wallebohr. I want to show you what my partner Thorsten Korn and I did in the last six months during our study project about interactive 3D video objects at the TU Ilmenau. Before we can compute a view of a 3D video object, we have to record it with at least two real cameras. Here you can see a person from the top and two cameras pointing at it. The recorded pictures with the blue screen in the background are transmitted to the Revox system. Revox is a shortcut for Realistic Video Object Generation System. This system is able to compute a different point of view apart from the view of the two real cameras. If you compare these both views, you can see that the point of view has changed. Now I want to show you what the Revox system is capable of. This is the observe mode of the Revox system. Here you can examine the generated view of the 3D video object. By dragging the mouse we can change the perspective. We can have a look from the top or from the bottom. The usability is like any other 3D program. Over here we have some mistakes in the computation that originates from inconsistent disparity maps. So for good results both real cameras must have information about the 3D video object. The performance is about 8 frames per second and can be achieved with standard consumer IT. This frame rate is possible since we computed the disparity maps before. Live computing of the disparity maps leads to a performance of about 1 frame per second. Now we are gonna switch to the scene mode. In the scene mode we combine the virtual scene with the 3D video object. You can fly around the scene and the perspective of the 3D video object changes according to the OpenGL camera. The result is a realistic view of the person standing in a virtual scene. As you can see, the scene doesn't look very glorious. We just put some basic OpenGL primitives in here. But it gives you a nice impression how a 3D video object and virtual scenes can work together. So that's it. Thanks for watching.